India has one of the largest defense forces in the world. When we think of our defense forces, it instantly conjures up an image reflecting power, performance and stealth. That will never change. What is changing, however, is the specter of warfare. Modern warfare has now extended to domains like information maneuver, electromagnetic spectrum, cyber and space and is highly focused on disruptive technologies. In this context, it is imperative for our defense forces to leverage network centricity and digitization to enhance winnability in combat and to build strategic deterrence. Now is the time to carve out a vision of this digitally supreme defense, which will be the top defense force of the world on the back of passion, patriotism and self-reliant digital for defense ecosystem. Right now, the canvas of defense digitization is blank. The first stroke should be to modernize and build highly competent defense networks which are converged, scalable, agile and highly secure. To use these networks as an ammunition, we need to achieve a state of jointness and synergy between the Tri-Forces networks to enable seamless information sharing, fusion of intelligence and net centricity in operations. While competent and joint networks will have strategic synergies, this vision of a technology-centric defense needs to pervade defense tactics. Here comes the importance of modern tactile communications like software-defined radios, mobile integrated network terminal or MINT and network-in-a-box solutions. In this network-centric environment, secure data centers, private cloud and edge infrastructure would provide a safe haven for all data and intelligence and will pave way for futuristic defense applications. This new vision will weaponize defense networks and use them beyond just communication. This is the new way of looking at defense networks. Network as a security. Network as a deterrent. Network as a force multiplier. Advanced defense networks viewed as a strategic asset that not only establishes communication but also deters intrusion and compounds combat strength will take us to the frontier of supremacy by enabling critical defense use cases. Let's see how. Making defense borders and bases intrusion proof with secure high capacity networks, a long range sensor and surveillance setup, avant guard technologies like robotic fencing and through futuristic command and control, infiltration and terrorist attacks can be effectively dismantled. Enhancing mission effectiveness and winnability with the added power of networks and technology. Low latency communications through joint and interoperable networks. Mutually compatible databases between tri-forces with common secrecy algorithms a net-centric defense environment across strategy, operations and tactics. Next generation of ISR through self-healing, multi-domain sensors, stealth and orbit-optimized UAVs, artificial intelligence and machine learning enabled decision support systems, high bandwidth short-range communications and agile C2. And finally, a tech-intensive battlefield management system leveraging IOBT and robotics topped with a synergized cyber and electromagnetic environment for asymmetrical warfare. This is the new technology-first paradigm for mission effectiveness and winnability. Every vision starts with a decision. To realize this vision of a digitally supreme defense, we need to start with defense network augmentation in mission mode and chart a course of systematic incubation of digital technologies. We need to think that the future is now.